so we're going to find the vertex. So I'm going to highlight that here. We're going to find the vertex um, of a polynomial or a parabola by finding the average of the x-intercepts. So in this, I've taken my, my uh, polynomial. So my polynomial is this guy right here. And I factored it, so we've gone ahead and factored this. So here it's factored. And then we solved for our x-intercepts. Okay, so that's these guys right here. We solved for our x-intercepts. And we're going to take the average of those two numbers and um, that will give us the x-coordinate of a vertex. So in order to find an average, um, I take my, let me go to square average. I take my negative four and I add it to my negative two. And when I take an average, I divide by the number of things that I added up. I'm dividing by two because I added two numbers together. When I add these together, I get negative 6, and when I divide by 2, I get negative 3. So in my vertex, so this is my vertex, my x-coordinate is negative 3. So in order to find my y value, I am going to take my equation, so this guy right here, um, I'm going to use another color, so I'm going to take this guy right here, and I'm going to rewrite it with a y equals instead of 0. So I'm going to say y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. And I can plug in my negative 3. So I'm going to plug this negative 3 in to my x's because this is my x value. So I'm going to plug it into both of those places. So I'm going to say y equals, and I'm going to plug my squared in and my plus sign in and my 6 in, and my 8 in. I'm going to change my color so I can put in my negative 3 squared and put in my negative 3 next to my 6. So I've now substituted in what my x value is. And it's important that we do the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, if you didn't put parentheses around this first negative 3 and you put it in your calculator, it's going to give you the wrong answer. So make sure that if you're using a calculator for this that you put in the parentheses, otherwise it gives you the wrong sign. But if I do negative 3 squared, this should give me a positive 9. So when I do this, I get a positive 9 and then 6 minus, or times negative 3 is going to be a negative 18. And then I can add my 8. 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 8. And this would be negative 1. And so I know that my y coordinate right here is negative 1. So this right here, this is my vertex.